my name is Kristen and I'm with Case Call Arts. And today we will be working on this canvas. Of course, again, this is an old canvas that I have that I did some abstract art on. And uh, what I told you guys before, I don't want to waste the canvas since it hasn't sold yet. So that is why I'm using it for my pour for today. Just making sure that I have it leveled. I am gonna go ahead and go along with the series that I have been doing using these colors right here. And so I would like for you guys to join me as we are about to do another acrylic pour video. If you have not watched my other videos that goes along with this series, I did a toilet seat pour that's gonna go along with this, except for, again, I'm switching out the base color. The video that I'm talking about, I did on my live, but I uploaded the video to my YouTube channel, which I will link right here for the toilet seat pour. And if you guys want to see the triptych that I did that goes along with the toilet seat and this painting right here, I will link it right here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start on our big canvas. This is an 18 by 24 canvas. Again, this is going to be a cover up. I am doing something different. So the base color that I use on the toilet seat and the triptych were um, red. And then I did the outline of Van Dyke Brown, Black, 24 karat gold, and Royal Blue. So instead of having red as the base again, this time I'm going to do the Royal Blue as the base color. And then all the other colors layered around it. Of course, using 24 karat gold, red mix, Royal Blue, Van Dyke Brown, and Black. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start on this pour. So again, usually I do my uh, base color first, but as we have just um, been doing over the past couple of videos, we have been layering up the paint first, the layered paint first, and then going back to add our base. So let's go ahead and start. I am going to start at the bottom and I'm gonna go around this way with the Van Dyke Brown. And I'm not too worried about running out of this color because all the other colors are going to be layered on top of it, including black. And as you guys can hear, <laughs> I am running low on these colors, mainly because I have used them <laughs> in several of the videos that we have done. So again, I'm not adding blue into um, this color right here. I'm actually going to add my gold and my red. And we're gonna see how this turns out. So 24 karat gold. And then let's see how this red is instead of the royal blue. Okay, so I am going to blow the bubbles. I'm going to torch the bubbles. And now I'm going to take my blow dryer and blow this out. And I love it with the red. I knew I was gonna love it with the red. <laughs> I knew I was gonna love it. So 
I am going to add in my blue right here as the base color. And hopefully I have enough. I didn't want to fill the entire canvas with this base. I'm sorry, with the other layered colors. But this is newly mixed royal blue. So that's the reason why I have enough of this right now. And if I need any more of the layered colors, if I feel like I need some on this side, then I will go ahead and mix some more. In the meantime, let me go ahead and blow this out. Again, if I feel like I need some more of the layered colors before I blow it out into the blue, then I will go ahead and mix some more of the layered, layered colors, which is, of course, the 24 karat gold, the black, and the Van Dyke brown. Okay, I am absolutely loving this, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my bubbles on here. And I'm really not sure if I want, I'm gonna go ahead and blow this part out into the blue first, and then I'll decide whether or not I want to go ahead and continue the base around it. I'll decide then. So let me go ahead and blow some of this into the blue. And I'm still not sure. I believe that I do want to continue this around here. Um, in the meantime, I am going to use my finger to touch up these sides with the paint that I have left on my surface. Okay, but so far, I'm actually really loving this. I love the blue as the base color, but I do believe, I'm not sure if I have enough of this, but I'm going to try to see if I can get as much as possible out of here with the brown, just to continue the design the Van Dyke Brown. Just to see if I can continue the design all the way. I'm gonna take my black right here, see if I can get any more of this black out, which I can just a little bit. And of course, go back in with my gold which is gonna be the dominant color, obviously, since I have more of it, and then the red. 
Then, of course, I'm going to take my blow dryer and blow this out. Okay. So, it still turned out amazing. I do, however, want to blow some portions of this out a little bit more just to get a softer uh, touch to the painting opposed to the hard um, lines with the blow dryer. So let me go ahead and try to blow this out without my hair getting in there, which generally speaking it does. Other, other than that, you guys, I feel like right here is a little bit too blown out in this section. So all I'm doing is tapping my finger, kind of moving that out of the way. Getting as much of the color off as possible. You guys are probably thinking, Kristen, leave it alone. <laughs> but I want to get exactly what I want out of it. And I just believe that this is a little bit too much in this area. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to take the blue right here and try to clean that up without putting too much paint in one place because as I have told you guys before, having too much paint in one place will cause cracking or divots in your painting. And I don't want that because this is actually a very beautiful painting. So I believe that I'm pretty much done playing around with it. <laughs> I may play around with it some more later on but as for right now, it turned out really, really gorgeous. And bring you guys in for the close-up. Turned out absolutely amazing. Still, I love it. I may um, <laughs> go ahead and put some mandala art in the middle using the exact same colors. Other than that, you guys, it turned out really, really gorgeous. I'm going to bring you guys in for the close-up. Come on in. Here it is, everyone, with um, the Van Dyke Brown Black. I added red into this as well. So I would consider this exactly like how I did my one of my other paintings, uh, which is the border <laughs> that I went with which I did again, and I absolutely love how this turned out. Bringing you guys in a little bit more with that red in there. It turned out really, really beautiful. That royal blue color in the camera, you guys, it looks lighter, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> this is gonna draw pretty dark. This is a royal blue that I mixed. I do have some webbing slash lacing in there. It turned out really, really gorgeous. I love the colors. It turned out amazing and I hope you guys love it as well. Well, I would like to thank you guys for joining me today 
as we have just created another successful <laughs> border pour that goes along with our theme for the toilet seat and the triptych that we did. We switched out the colors from red, I'm sorry, we started with white, switched to red, and now we're at royal blue. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. As I always say before I sign out, number one, stay safe. Number two, stay blessed. And last but not least, no matter what it is that you are facing, turn your pain into paintings. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.